I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on tricks to solve trigonometric multiple choice questions. Trick number two is slightly complicated. If cos x plus sin x equals to p, so for any angle, if cos x plus sin x equals to p, then cos x minus sin x is equal to square root of 2 minus p square. All right, so that is the equation. We will see how to prove this, right? So we'll understand the concept and then we are going to apply it to test questions. Now, this is a huge trick which can really save a lot of your time, but it's very important to understand. So we'll take questions like if cos x plus sin x is 1, then what is the absolute value of cos x minus sin x? One of these. Based on this, you can always put 1 there. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 1. So if you know the trick, the answer is straightforward. Correct. Then we have question number 2, which says if cos x plus sin x is square root 2 sin x, then what is the value of this function? Difference of these two. Again, if you substitute that here, in that case, you will find that the answer is C for you. We'll see how. And then we'll have question number three, where it is if cos x plus sin x is square root two, then find tan x. So these are the questions to be solved. But before that, let us understand the trick. It is very important to understand these tricks so that they can be very effectively applied. So the trick here is that we'll just solve and prove it. If we have cos x plus sin x equals to, let's say, p, right? So if we square both sides, what do we get? We get cos x plus sin x whole square equals to p square. Squaring, we get cos square x plus 2 sin x cos x plus sin square x equals to p square. And we know cos square x plus sin square x is 1. Let me rewrite. So we can combine these two terms. And we have plus 2 sin x cos x equals to p squared. So cos, x, cos square x plus sin square x is 1. So we can write this as 1 plus 2 sin x cos x, which is equal to p squared. So 2 sin x cos x is equal to p squared minus 1, correct? So that is what we get for 2 sin x cos x. We need to find what is cos x minus sin x. So, so let us say, let's first find what is cos x minus sin x whole square. So if we square this, we get cos square x minus 2 sin x cos x plus sin square x. Perfect. Now, cos square x plus sin square x is 1. So we get 1 minus 2 sin x cos x. But we just found that, let's call this as equation 1 that 2 sin x cos x will be p squared minus 1. So we are going to substitute this in here, right? So let's say in equation 2. So if we do that, we get 1 minus, so let me write within square brackets, p squared minus 1. So if I open the bracket, I get 2 minus p squared. Now, cos x minus sin x squared is 2 minus p squared. That means what? That means that cos x minus sin x will be square root of 2 minus p squared. You get it, right? Now, whenever you do square root, we have to write plus and minus. It's very important. So that is why this plus and minus is mentioned. It really depends whether x is, you know, Sometimes cos is higher than sine, then be positive. 
but if x is between 90 to 45 degrees we expect negative answer so both are possible so i hope the concept is now very clear so the idea is get the value of 2 sin x cos x subtract and get your result right so that's how this trick works but now once you know this solution it becomes very simple to solve related questions correct so let's have a related question which is cos x plus sin x is 1 then what is I've taken this as absolute value so we just learned that if cos x plus sin x is equal to p then cos x minus sin x will be equal to square root of 2 minus p square right there could be plus or minus value now in our case we are taking absolute values so positive values correct now in our case p is 1 so what we have here is p equals to 1 so in that case we could write this as square root of 2 minus 1 which is square root of 1 which is 1 and therefore b is the right answer so you understand how to apply this trick right so now let's take another question just to practice here is question number two again let's understand the trick so we have cos x plus sin x equals to square root 2 sin x we need to find difference and this time it is sin x minus cos x absolute value okay so so let's write down uh, let me write down sin x minus cos x is it okay we know from the trick it is square root of 2 minus p square now in our case p is equals to this value square root of 2 sin x correct and therefore the absolute value of sin x minus cos x let me make it absolute value as asked for so i've taken positive value correct is equal to square root of 2 minus square root 2 sin x whole square so that gives you square root of 2 minus when you square this you get 2 sin square x now you can take 2 common you get 1 minus sin square x now 1 minus sin square x is cos square x okay so what we get here is square root of 2 times cos square x so cos square x cos x can be taken outside so we could write this as square root of 2 cos x is that clear so if it is sin x you see it changes to cos x and option c is the right option so you also learn another trick that in case you have instead of a number here if you have sin x or cos x it interchanges since 1 minus sin square x gives you cos square x correct so that's a huge trick so it's a trick on trick so here is question number three for you to practice if cos x plus sin x is square root 2 then what is sin x minus cos x right so the trick which we have learned is that sin x minus cos x should be equal to square root of it could be plus or minus 2 minus p square in our case p is given to you as square root of 2 so let's substitute this value so we get sin x minus cos x equals to plus or minus square root of 2 minus square root 2 square right so that gives you plus or minus 0 which is indeed 0 so we get a as our answer perfect now here is last question for you question number four i just added this question if cos x plus sin x is square root two then find what tan x is now let's again apply the trick which we learned we could say what is cos x minus sin x it is equal to square root of 2 minus p square which is 
square root 2 square, correct? As we did earlier, right? So which is 2 minus 2, indeed it is 0. If sin x, cos x minus sin x is 0, then you could write that sin x is equals to cos x dividing by cos, we get tan x equals to 1, right? So the tan x value is 1. Option B is the right option. So I hope you understand how this particular trick can be applied. So once you understand how to derive it, that's easy to remember and apply. It's a huge trick. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.